Ugh, Charlie, give me the ball and go get it. What's up, guys? Today's video is a little bit different. It's not going to be a DIY, but we are going to be going to the master DIY shop. We're going to be hanging out with a YouTuber that I met years ago. We've been in contact for years. A lot of you guys know him, especially since you've seen my behind the scenes on Instagram already. The Hacksmith. He's got like a fantasy factory. I've never been there before. It's been a few years since I've seen James. He's doing super well, and I can't wait to hang with him. Let's do it. Yes, we're finally here. Three years, baby. I've been wanting to check this out. Hacksmith Industries. Hey, Dan. James. Good thank, to see you. Thank you so Come much for having me, man. Welcome to Hacksmith Industries, my full-time hobby. I love it. Look at this. You're in the paper. Yeah, we got we got a nice little newspaper trail over the years. The first one, we uh, did some engineering competitions. Oh, back look at you in this. Come a long way. A little bit. <laughs> so that was my first uh, front page newspaper clipping. And that was that was really the start of the YouTube channel when I did that project. That's when I first saw like there's some potential. Like people like this kind of stuff. Yeah, 100%. And uh, it was just a year after that project actually that I quit my full time job to do YouTube full time. Man, you look like PewDiePie in this picture. <laughs> This is your office. Yeah. Is this the Captain America shield? This is one of the Captain America shields. Okay, pause for a second. When I say the shield, I mean the number one video on the Hacksmith's YouTube channel has 36 million views and it's on Captain America's shield. We actually, we had three shields originally for that video and one I kept nice for my wall. So it is, it is the shield or one of the shields. The fact that you have an office, I'm so jealous. My office is like my kitchen table. <laughs> This was a fun collaboration project with a bunch of the other maker channels on YouTube. So I kind of took inspiration from the, the nuclear phone, the red phone. So basically it's a direct connection to a bunch of other YouTubers. So I could just pick, just up, pick it up and call call Colin Furs. So I could call Alan Pants, officially advanced. Or look, mom, no computer. And pause one more time. To reiterate, that red phone that's in his office is basically a direct line to some of YouTube's top DIYers. I would not get any work done in this office. It's so distracting. His computer is even just hanging on the wall with no casing. This is what I want to get soon. Right here. Uh, we got the bat room over there. A little coffee bar. Try and keep our employees well fed. We actually uh, cater lunches every day. You cater lunches every day? Yeah. How many employees do you got? 13. I have one, Charlie. <laughs> I got to feed that guy twice a day. He is catering too. You ready? This is the one. Let's go. Oh, it's huge. So yeah, this this is about 10,000 square feet. Uh, 19 foot ceilings. Okay. Spy car. A spy car. <laughs> spy car. 1979 MGB, which we are slowly outfitting to be a, a James Bond spy car. So right now it's got an ejection seat, flamethrower exhaust, taser door handles. What? Oil slick dispenser in the back. There's going to be a flamethrower in here or there oh, is? Oh, there already is. There's a flamethrower. <laughs> in the exhaust right here. Planning on putting two jet engines in the trunk. How does the taser on the door handles work? So when the car is locked. Oh my God. Why don't we head upstairs? Man, two levels in this place. You kidding? Crazy. All right, so this is our upstairs lab area. Oh, 3D printers, yeah. yes. So in all the Ikea boxes, we have every part you can imagine for pretty much any DIY project. Electronics, connector, LED lights, lights, power switches, rocker switches. We're planning on bringing that video out when Halo Infinite comes out, but we're gonna do a full heads up display, Cortana integration. No way everything built in. And the, the fact that you can dream like that and bring it to life is what boggles my mind. Uh, this is our main electronics lab area. All these cabinets are full of more parts and things to bring any idea to reality, pretty much. Tape. Everyone tape. needs a tape rack. Yeah. This isn't even my main tape rack. This is our small tape rack. We have a much bigger tape rack downstairs. This is currently my favorite room in the shop. Oh my oh, God, gym. gym. <laughs> yeah, right. Smith machines, squat rack, whatever, some gymnastic stuff. A gym. He's got a gym. Yeah, this is one of my favorite features of the shop. What is it? A little employee wellness program. 
It's a hydro massage table. And we got the TV remote there, and you've got your selection of Netflix, Amazon Prime, Crave, or Disney Plus. <laughs> How long do you stay on this thing? I've been watching a lot of Netflix, so maybe an hour or two a day. And you have a sauna. <laughs> this then guy you go in the infrared sauna. sauna. And then when you're done, then we've also got the ensuite shower and bathroom. This is a freaking dream, man. I want to like live here. What if you lie on forward? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. <laughs> Set it to lower body. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's there. It's down there. <laughs> Not bad at all. Man, I need one of those. Whew. So I might just have a bobcat now. On our First off, the fact that you can just buy a bobcat on a whim. I buy a cricket on a whim. It's an extra vinyl. So you're saying Tony Hawk's one of your- Tony Hawk is absolutely one of your right. favorite thing. Well, Idol. Birdhouse, limited edition. Tony oh. Hawk, pro skater. Do I get to keep this? Yeah. What? So oh we, we literally just did a project with Activision and Tony Hawk's pro skater one plus two remastered. And they sent us a bunch of decks for the project. And I kept a few to Oh, hell gifts to, uh, yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, That's freaking no sick. This is so sick, man. Tony Hawk, baby. Nice Hacksmith logo. The logo. Avengers-esque. Change the color. Can we do green? Green, okay. Hey. Ooh. All right, so we've got all the lights actually controlled in, so we're going to be able to do lighting effects and whatnot, but take a look. We got lighting on just us. While oh, we can shoot some hoops, too. Do you guys yeah. ever play basketball in here? Oh, yeah. So in the middle of our basketball court, we also have one of my favorite projects. This is my yes! Thor hammer, which only the worthy can pick up. So why don't you see if you can pick it up? I have been working out, so. Oh. Oh, I, I did it. <laughs> it has been a bit buggy lately. <laughs> yeah. I'm worthy. I'm worthy, baby. I'm worthy. Holy man, that's like. Oh my god, that's crazy. How strong is that magnet? It will actually produce 500 pounds. Oh my god, it's like it's glued, man. Cyber truck. This is what I've been wanting to see, to be honest. So this is one of our coolest projects that was kind of like on a whim. Basically, the cyber truck got announced. I was like, I want one. Could we like make a small one? It's fully drivable. Yeah, so just like the real thing, it's tri-motor drive. So two hub motors in the front, one motor in the back. iPad, tablet dash. We call it half scale. Half scale? Because it's half the length, half the width, half the height. This is my fiber laser cutter. So I can literally take a four by eight foot sheet of say plywood yeah. and cut into any shape. Plywood, sign. you cut wood with this? You can cut wood, plastic, metal, and you can engrave metal too. Can you say what one of these would cost? If you were to buy it in North America, you're looking at over $100,000. Oh, we gotta step up these videos, man. We gotta get one of these for my house. This would take up my whole house, though. Can you imagine? Welcome to my house. I've got this laser cutter. He has this space, didn't have enough space, got the unit next door and just cut the wall, cut a hole in the wall. Like he's escaping prison. And now, boom, we're in the next unit over and he's got more space. Oh, it must be so nice. So right now, with all this space, we're using it as a lunchroom. But the cool thing is right over here in this corner because we're actually making our very first studio set here. It's like a podcast set. We're gonna have like a newscaster desk there, couch, couch, couch. And then you'll be able to have basically three different main scenes and we'll be able to produce a bunch of original content right here. And back here, we have our merch back room where we store Sunglasses. But this is the Hacksmith Armory where we've put all of our projects. This is one of my favorite yes. artistic projects. I did design this in like software, like all the different layers and whatnot, wrapping the cable and whatnot. It's a one of a kind, I could never make it again kind of thing. Right. I feel like everything in here is one of a kind though, to be honest. Like yeah. who has the, one of the world's most powerful leaf blower with Furbies coming out of the end? And this is our transplanted yellow wall. So all of our videos in the old garage used to start in front of the yellow wall. Boring flamethrower DIY version. What do you mean, you made this? I made this one. It does work. It looks the exact same. Right. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna flamethrower right now. We'll shoot that in the dark later. That is the most Hacksmith shot I've ever seen. Just like, hey, go to Flamethrower. <laughs> oh, that was our very first YouTuber collab. Big YouTube channel called Everything Apple Pro. And he flew to Canada wow. to film this video with us. And we learned so much from him. The most valuable collab for us. Fun fact, as of two months ago, we just got bigger than him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and 
And over here, we have my personal wardrobe. What's inside? So over the years, we've uh, collected quite a few costumes. Oh, no way. So literally every single one of these. We've got leather jackets over here, Captain America, Han Solo, Star-Lord. I have one wig that I use for all my skits. Captain America costume, Doctor Strange, Attack on Titan, full Batman costume, Wonder Woman. Wow. Oh, over here, we got uh, volcano suits, you know, in case you need a... In case you go, need a volcano go, suit. Go uh, Very stylish. Oh my god, is it? <laughs> this is our Nerf screaming gun. So it's actually got 18 different voice packs. Hey! So when you shoot, when you reload, <laughs> and when you shake it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Eminem's good. So when you shoot, it's rap god. Oh my god, yeah, just <laughs> Okay, James, really appreciate you showing me this spot. Yeah, no problem. Like, I've been wanting to check it out. Actually, this whole thing is ideally what I would one day love to have. I know you're an inspiration to me, and I'm sure a ton of people watching are an inspiration to them, too. Keep doing it, man. Thanks for coming down. Appreciate it, and thanks for the, the Tony Hawk board, too. Yeah, no problem. Huge fan. <laughs> All right, catch you the next one, man. Have a good one. Hey, I guess I live here now. <laughs> and just like that, I left James' workshop feeling more inspired than ever. I feel like a lot of people get it wrong. Growing up doesn't mean growing old. People like James are a great example of a dreamer that went for it, and then made it. After seeing what he's created, my insecurities of being too childish or too immature aren't what they were before. This is a guy that makes real life superhero gadgets and gizmos, and he's thriving. It's clearer now than ever. Growing old may be mandatory, but growing up is optional.